welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. Hey, I'm Elliot Morgan. It's good Ooh. to see you. Thank you for joining us. Sexy voice. Well, thank you. Rawr, roar. Rawr. Candlelit dinner. Pandas! Adorable black and white babies! They've done a lot for us. Okay, from learning kung fu to sneezing on the internet for our delight. Well, now it turns out that they might be the key to human survival. Whoa, really? Okay, I knew that they were really intense fighters and just really, really adorable. Yeah. <laughs> but saviors of the human race? Wow, good job, pandas. Okay, maybe not necessarily saving the human race, but contributing to it. Because it turns out that giant panda blood might hold the secret to curing superbug illnesses in humans. Apparently, the primary component in panda blood kills bacteria in less than an hour. Other antibiotics take more than six hours. And this is kind of a huge deal. Yuan Yan, one of the lead researchers, said it showed potential antimicrobial activities against wide spectrum of microorganisms including bacteria and fungi, both standard and drug resistant strains. Layman's terms, stock up on panda blood. Okay, we gotta start harvesting stuff, you know, maybe like, like make a, a warehouse, like a panda blood warehouse. Welcome to- no. no, 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 well, they're endangered, okay? No need to put another reason out there to hunt them down and kill them, okay? Uh, but there are plenty of microorganisms out there that are becoming drug resistant and finding a new antimicrobial agent is a huge deal. But, you know, giant pandas are highly endangered. Again, I mean highly endangered, like only 1,600 left in the world. Maybe this new discovery will show how important it is to keep them alive, because we should do that. Keep them alive. It's an excellent alternative, I like that pull away from the panda blood warehouse, move towards saving and breeding pandas. I'm still very much into the idea of a warehouse. I'm not ready to let that go just yet, um, but I'm no open to No one wants alter to make you do that, buddy. Okay, good. Okay. All right, panda warehouse. As long as they are safe and sound pandas. Yes. But good news, okay? Because it's not like we even need excessive pandas or panda blood because thankfully scientists have found a way to synthesize the compound artificially in a lab. That's not to say that we don't still need to try and save the pandas or for that matter, any other plants, birds, and animals that could essentially save the human race. You never know, you know? What about like Elliot Morgan's panda em emporium? Like a pan... Pandor, like a Pandorium, like a Pandemorium. I like this. It's like a good this. word. Yeah, I can no, it's, charge it's, admission. It's a step away from a circus. Just no tutus? Amen. All right. So guys, what would you save if you could? Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, please like this video. And if you like us, you should subscribe to this channel. We do this five times a day. All new information. You go to sourcefed.com to see blog posts and stuff too. We're constantly pelting you with information. We have like annotation literally right here. It's not really right here. They're going to add it in post, but you already knew that. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. Bye. Say something sexy. Uh, you wanna like, I don't know, maybe we could go see a movie or something. Do you wanna see, like, uh, Rise of the Guardians? It's after Christmas, but it'll probably still be festive. We'll work on the content. Okay, I can take my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs>